Hi Franklin Township families. I'm going to be showing you today how you can make sure on your child's device, um, whether it's a school issued device or a device that you may have at home, how to make sure that you actually have Google Read and Write and it's activated on that device. So up here at the corner, first off, you need to use Google Chrome, all right? So as soon as you open up the Chrome web browser, up here, up in the corner, you're going to notice that I actually have this like little puzzle piece. And the little puzzle piece is an area that above, it's gonna indicate extensions. So these are things that will operate within the Chrome browser. All right, and what we have done in Franklin Township is we have purchased Google Read and Write, and all students in Franklin Township have access to this resource. But I wanted you to know what it is that you're looking for. So what I see right now is this purple puzzle piece that says RW, and that is Read and Write for Google Chrome. You're gonna see this little purple guy, and he's actually a screenshot reader, also from the same company, Google Read and Write. And you're gonna see an image of something that looks like a little PDF, and that is a PDF reader. All three of these tools can be utilized when your children are doing any type of digital work. So if they need to have something read aloud to them, then they can access these resources. If you're not sure, let's say that you don't see these listed here, if I tap on this puzzle piece, I'm gonna scroll down here where I see that it says Google Read and Write, and I'm gonna notice that it has a blue pin. If it's not, for instance, the extension I have listed above here, does not have a blue pin, that means you're not going to see it on the bar. So what you want to check for on your student's device is to make sure that we have that blue push pin, so that way that it's going to be appearing on there. Um, now on our district website, we're also going to have another video that comes from the company that's explaining how you use Google Read and Write. I'm just gonna go over like a few of the pieces, but um, I wanted you to know that there's going to be an additional video available that you can check out as well. So once I have all of these on here, so right now I'm actually just, you know, on Google. So I'm gonna pretend like that I go out to an article that I find online and I want to be able to have this text read aloud to me. So once I activate the Google Read and Write piece, then I'm gonna see these tools actually appear up here at the top. So if I want to activate having something read aloud, all I simply have to do is highlight the section that I want read aloud, and then I'm gonna hit this play button. Have you ever played laser tag? If so, you know there's nothing like it. Don't now it's nice. What's nice with it is that I can play it, I can pause it, and I can stop it. If I do not select the text and I just simply hit play, then what it's gonna do is it's gonna start reading aloud everything from the top of the website. So one suggestion that I have is that make sure that your child is actually highlighting the section that you want read aloud. There's all kinds of other cool features that are in here too. Um, I'm gonna actually go into a Google Doc and show you how I can activate a Google Read and Write inside of it because I want people to know that you can activate Google Read and Write inside of a, a, a Google Doc, Google Slides, it'll work on the web, um, it'll work in any of these tools. Um, so the same thing here I can highlight. Demo for Google Read and Write. So on here, I, it'll read it out loud, but in addition to that, um, I've also got some other cool options. For instance, a screen mask, which means I can use this to help me out if I'm reading something that is a long passage. I'm gonna toggle back over here um, to here, so I'm on a website. If your child is reading a website and they want a screen mask, so that that way it's kind of tracking as they're reading, you have that ability as well. Um, it can also highlight items. It has a lot of cool things that it can do, but as I had said, um, 
there is going to be another video that accompanies my little intro and making sure that you have these items actually on your child's device um, that's going to be from the company and it will actually demo each specific item that Google Read and Write can do. So I just wanted to make sure that you are all aware that this is available to any student in Franklin Township.